Yo, what is going on, guys? JetXC here, and look who it is. We have Sherno. And I managed to get her. I think what I'll do is at the end, I'll I'll show you some of my pulls at the end. I managed to get her M1. I pulled two copies in one 10 pull. But, uh, well, you'll see at the end, right? Uh, but anyway, I got Sherno. I've taken a look at the skins. I've leveled her up to 80 so far. I currently don't have any logistics on her. I'm going to get the ones from the event. And here she is at M1, so I get some extra damage here. When a shot hits a target within Void of self loathing has a 6% chance to inflict one extra stack of in midi. So, pretty good stat there. Level 80, like I said. I really like her design. So, real quick, guys. I want to show you how she looks in-game. And then I want to show you the other two skins. And I'll give you my opinion on that. Right now, there isn't really much to do in the event besides story and hollowed assembly. Hollowed assembly is typically like the all the modes where you basically go through one wave of enemies and then that's about it so it's nothing new but the other new modes will be getting pretty soon so let's do a even though i have her let's just do the early trial here so we can check her out now do i think she's worth the pull yes and i'll show you her abilities right here so here's how she looks in game pretty cool again i like the I like the the shoes. I like the hot pants. Pretty good. All right, let's start with the boy here. Now see how she see how this guy's taking damage in the back. That's due to the voids here, and I can activate another one. Now I'm going to activate again here in just a sec. But let me add one more. Okay, now watch. Boom. Telling you guys, she's super fun. I guess that's that a glitch. Pretty cool. So as you shoot, you add on more um, self-loathing stacks. All right, let me do this. Let me do this. Gonna ult. Look at that. Oh my god, that looked crazy. Nah, she's super cool, guys. And I think I like her regular skin like this way more than her maid outfit. But I might just buy the maid outfit just because it's... I kind of like it a little more than I typically would like maid outfits, but... We'll see. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So that's her and her um, default skin, I guess. Again, like I said, pretty fun operative, and I would say definitely get a copy. Especially especially since we're getting a copy of Enya for free. The only you only should really be going on Enya's banner if you want to get like if you want to get her to like M1 or something or M2, but even then it's just like just just save your save your stuff your currency and save for the next event okay made outfit here we go guys here we go let's see what we're what we're looking at here so here's a full 360 pretty good i mean you definitely get the upshot there nice skin overall so it changes the color of her uh, void so i think that's pretty cool this is her uh five star weapon by the way all right let's uh let's see how she looks in the ult so let me grab this over here real quick Let's add a couple of these and let's do this. Honestly, great alt animation regardless. Oh my god. So there there's the there it is at different angles. Honestly, not a bad skin, guys. I'm 50-50 on it. I do like her OG skin a little bit more, but I can see the appeal for this skin for sure. Oh my god, okay. I can definitely see the appeal. 
<laughs> oh man, that's funny. Okay, let's check out Tess's skin real quick. Test, 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 test. I'm I'm getting this just based off of the look alone, but let's see how she looks in game. Oh yeah. This is uh this is easily gonna be a buy for me. So this is the season pass skin, by the way, for her. So if you buy the season pass, you get this skin. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how she looks in the ult. Oh, wow. Actually, I don't think I've ever ulted with her on the field by herself. This is the first. Holy. So when you use her um, her first skill once, I did not know that she did this animation. Because I usually spam it, but check it out. She'll like cheer and all that stuff. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, that's all we need to see. <laughs> so, I'm probably me, myself, I'm definitely getting this skin 100%. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this is definitely worth it for a season pass. Plus, the season pass is giving out more. Oh my. <laughs> the season pass is definitely giving out more rewards in general. So, I would say this is 100% worth. Okay, so that's about all I wanted to show you. I guess I could go through Hollowed Assembly once just to show you guys. Mm, yeah, why not? I'll go through Hollowed Assembly just so you can see what what you do in it and how the stage looks. Basically looks similar to what we were doing. Let me get through this real quick. I'm still doing pretty good damage even though I'm not like full build. Oh, that is fire. That's fire. So I guess that's a good demonstration to see how much damage she does without being full build. I don't even have logistics on her. Okay. So that's that. So that's that stage. Last thing I want to show you. There is a new mode that will let you get logistics from the event. So if you do this, you'll get these elite personnel. Item used to obtain elite logistic officers available during the event. So yeah, pretty cool. And you can also select a squad here of what you want to collect while you do this over and over again. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little add-on there. And yeah, that's about everything, guys. I will definitely be getting the season pass. Again, she's 100% worth it. We're getting a free copy of Enya. So if you need to spend money, then definitely do it for this unit here. But other than that, that's it for me. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Super good patch. I can already tell. And uh, yeah, let me, know what you get. Uh, let me know what you think. Later.